We'll deal with that when we get there. Uh, but I think, you know, as we've moved forward, I think, uh, at least in my opinion, um, it's been a learning process for me. It's probably time for new policies from the NCAA, and I think they're, they already have addressed that. It's probably time to take another step. I think they came out with something uh, early May, late April. Uh, I'm not sure that's aggressive enough based on the world we're living in. Um, but everything's got to start there. You know, that, that's not something you can, it's not, not a compromise, you know, it's a negotiation, it starts there. So, and I would also suggest based on the numbers I'm aware of, you know, it's probably a pretty small number in terms of the big scheme of things, but it doesn't make it right, and there's no way to condone that. Sorry, uh, but no, Noah Shannon, I mean, put it out there himself a few weeks ago. What, what's his status, and, and uh, will he, he be He's in a holding pattern like uh, the other players, so. To my knowledge, no, no crime uh, has been, hasn't been accused of any crimes, but he does have an NCAA deal to deal with, issue to deal with, and we'll let it, let it ride out to the NCAA has to say about it. To clarify. Let me go back on that too, just, just to give you a little more. Uh, and that was a really good example of this whole thing. Uh, it's, it's given me a chance to step back a little bit and think about some things, and my wife's been involved in this. Uh, I, you know, Noah's one of the best kids we have on the football team. He's a strong, respected leader, a tremendous young person, and has been nothing, from my standpoint, than a model football player for us. I'm really proud of everything he's done. And I'm proud of the fact that he did come forward and say, you know, how much sure I want to go to Indianapolis. I don't think it's right right now, fair uh, to our football team. And that, that gives you a little indication to his character, I think. And as I step back and look at it, I mean, it, just consider this, if we went out and rounded up every every kid on campus who had a beer before they were 21, and I'm not saying it's the exact parallel, but I would suggest, yeah, betting was a big thing in the 80s. I remember the FBI presenting that to us in team meetings. Uh, I would suggest it's probably a bigger thing right now, and all you have to do is look at your phones or watch TV and think you know what I'm talking about. So we're living in a little different world. I think we have to ramp up our education in the first one, we have to do a better job there. And I would suggest there's probably going to be some modification of policies moving forward from the NCAA. I don't want to speak for them, but I would imagine that might be the case, just like the NFL. I think it has a pretty realistic set of working roles, and I would like to see ours hopefully model those a little bit closer. Thank you. Thank you.